Yo, welcome to my review of Pokemon Journeys, episode 52, Hands-On Agriculture Studies, Where is Diglett? So, the trio are being sent to investigate an outbreak of a Diglett line at the farm of a former student of Sakuragi, Endo. So hey, that's some nice lore, I guess. Immediately off the bat, I like that we've got the trio assembled again. Kahari gets to see more of what Ash and Go are like out in the world, when we go for a run in a wide open space. It establishes where she is in the dynamic of the group pretty well. She doesn't have quite the same adventurous spirit as the boys, and that's fine. After a Voltorb encounter at the farm, Go wants to catch it, but Endo shows up to stop him, where he remembers Kaharu from the past, and he introduces himself to Ash and Go, showing them his farms before leading them to a field that the Diglett and Dugtrio are attacking. The boys respond to a problem as you'd expect, wanting to battle and get them, and they end up having to harvest the carrots in a field as the Diglets are hiding under the soil, of course. Go isn't able to catch one, but they've got carrots harvested. Ash theorises that night that Dugtrio was the leader, so if a stop is put to it, like Go catching it, Maybe the Diglett will stop, and Kahari realises that they weren't as coordinated as the Dugtrio and the Diglets. So they'll need someone to unite them all. So the boys think Kahari should be one to do it, which gives the sense that this episode will be about strengthening their teamwork. The plan is put into action, they're able to corner a Diglett, letting Go catch one. Dugtrio shows up and Kahari points out to them where it's going, so they cut it off and Go manages to catch it as well. While the problem is solved, they decide to head to the hill that the Diglets live on to see if everything is alright there. Team Rocket are goofing off and Meowth is having to grow some food. He has a mech come in to water them and then blast music to them, and that's when the gang arrive. It's pretty great how the motto is drowned out by the music, the voice actors of Team Rocket are very muted during it, and Meowth has to stop the music so the gang can hear them. So, Team Rocket were once drowning out the Diglet and making them run away. They call in the... Garcha Machine, where a Drillber and Sandslash are sent out to battle Ghost New Dog Trio. And putting the Garcha hate aside, this was a pretty bad battle to be honest. Most of it happens underground, and then Dugtrio just kind of uses a sand tomb to blast Team Rocket off. We get a pretty good conclusion to this episode where Go gives Dugtrio to Endo, as the Diglets need a leader, and they had seen the impact Dugtrios can have on the fields. And on the way back to Sakuragi's, Kari runs ahead of the boys. Now off the bat, this isn't a super exciting episode, but it's a very nice one I would say. It's just a group going to a place and solving a problem. Not the most exciting premise, I think the episode does a lot better than, say, episode 50 did in showing them as a group, as furthering that connection between them. Kaharu isn't just a damsel in distress here, she's a vital part of coming up with a plan to stop the Diglets, and it's up to her to leave the boys in executing it. It's a good role for her. Go leaving Dugtrio of Endo felt like it was a moment of growth. He's got what he wanted with the Dex data, and he sees how it can be used to help the farm. He's not just keeping the Pokemon for the sake of keeping it. I think it's handled pretty well. Plus, the Diglet he caught seems pretty happy enough to stay with him anyway. I feel like this mindset will probably play into next week's episode, but I'm not talking about that now. And would you believe I'm about to complain about Team Rocket again? I like their little introduction here, but god, this was the definition of them being a plot device. If they were going to be in this episode, I'd have far preferred that they were introduced before the 15 minute mark of this episode, or rather just have a wild sand staff stationing the Diglett and Dugtrio away from their hill. Overall, it's a fine episode that mainly feels like it's about group's dynamic, and it serves that purpose well. I enjoyed watching it, but I don't think it's the type of episode I'd really think about watching again. As I said, I think it excelled at showing a group more than episode 50 did, and it's pretty relieving to see this as one of Kahari's first outings. It really establishes where she is as part of the group. 